Harrison Mixbus 32C has a built-in busing structure, very much like a console that you would see in the real world. Everything you see on the screen is not by accident. It is put there to give you the feel, the workflow, and the sound of a Harrison console right on your computer. So in this video, we're gonna talk about grouping, busing, and tape saturation in Harrison Mixbus 32C. Mixbus 32C gives you 12 mix buses for you to route any combination of tracks to any one of the buses. And you'll also notice there's a matrix mix on mix buses one through eight that allows you to send to mix buses nine through 12. But more on that a little bit later. Let's go ahead and look at some material that I have recorded and let's see what we can do to group these together, send them to individual buses, and then onto the master bus. Let's go ahead and solo the guitar tracks to hear what we have. Okay, I feel like that's a pretty good blend of the guitars. And I feel like I'm ready to go ahead and send these on to a mix bus for further processing and gluing of the tracks. Now, as you can see, if I click on each individual track, the editor mixer changes according to the track I select. So in this fashion, I can choose the guitar rhythm one, and I can send that to bus four. But also notice that it's still being sent to the master bus. Essentially, this method sends your track to two different places at one time. First to the mix bus, and then on to the master bus. But what this will also do is make your track louder because it's being sent through two gain staging paths. So let me click on the green light over here and let me show you a trick that allows you to send your track to the mix bus, but also takes it out of the master. If we hold down command on a Mac and control on a PC, as we click on the mix bus send, you can see it takes it out of the master bus down here, right above the name of the track. And then from there, you can see that the mix bus is being sent to the master. So this is why we don't need the individual track to be sent to the master and the mix bus because then we're sending the track to the master twice. But now let's say we have multiple instruments that we want to send to a mix bus at the same time. We could easily click through these tracks and start sending them to a bus. But that takes a lot of extra steps and is not the quickest way to get this done. So what I like to do is actually create a group first and then send that whole entire group to a mix bus. To do this, we're gonna left click and drag down the left side of the track headers. We can name the bus, give it a color, and now press new. Now any of the track headers that I select will highlight all the track headers. Now I can hold down command and then click on the mix bus four to simultaneously take them out of the master and send all four of these tracks to Mix Bus 4. Now that the tracks are being sent to an individual mix bus, we can further process these with the built-in compression, the EQ, and also additional plugins. Let's go ahead and solo Mix Bus 4. So now you can hear everything else in the session is muted and only the guitar tracks are being soloed. Another great thing about sending individual tracks to mix buses is the spill feature. If I choose spill on mix bus four, only the guitar tracks will show up on the screen and everything else is hidden. The drive knob on each individual mix bus allows for different levels of saturation to be added to the signal path. And this drive knob happens before any of the EQ and compression or the fader. Let's listen to what the guitars sound like when saturation is added. Now in this particular case, the guitars are already pretty saturated, so I may not want to add too much saturation, but a little does go a long way. 
The saturation on the mix buses are not meant to give you every single parameter that a tape machine would give you, like inches per second or even wow and flutter. But it does provide a very gentle saturation when pushed to the max. And what this can do for your drums, for instance, is just kind of take off a little bit of those transients and help smooth things out. Let's go ahead and send our MIDI drums to a bus and then apply a little saturation. You can see the drums here on track five. And most of the time I like to send my drums to mix bus one. So I'm gonna hold down command on a Mac, control on a PC and click. Now let me solo mix bus one. You can really hear the low end crunch up when you push the saturation to extreme levels. Now let me show you a little tip for parallel compression. Mixbus 2 is what I typically use for my NYC compression trick, which essentially is sending your tracks to a separate bus, adding high amounts of compression, EQ, and saturation, and then blending that back in to the original sound. So let's choose Mixbus 2. Let's bring the threshold all the way down and choose the compressor setting. Let's go ahead and solo this bus. Turn off the compression. Now let's go ahead and send the bass to mix bus three and do the same thing. Let's add some compression and a little bit of saturation. And lastly, let's go ahead and add the strings to mix bus six. Now on first listening to this, it sounds a little dry. So at this point we have two different ways to add wet effects. We can send this to another bus that has delay and reverb, either directly from the track, or we can use the matrix mix. Let's go ahead and use the matrix mix to show you what I mean. So I've added a triple delay and also a G-verb to mix bus 12. Then I add a separate G-verb to mix bus 11. So using the matrix mix, I can click on mix bus 12 and then adjust the sand from there. This is what it is at 12 o'clock. Now let me play the song and I'll turn on and off the sand from Mixbus 12 so you can hear what that sounds like. And now let's do the same thing for the drums. Right now they're sounding just a little dry. So here's the before. And here's the after.
Now let me show you a trick we can do with the sands and panning. Notice that our guitars are panned hard left and hard right. I also want to send these guitars to a reverb. I'm going to copy over this G-verb by dragging it. And let's add a lush guitar preset to this mix bus. And now what I can do is add this guitar to mix bus 10. But as I adjust the send level, I can also hold down shift. And this will allow me to pan the send differently from the main pan that's on the track. So if my track is panned hard right, let's pan the sand hard left. So let's solo up this track. So what you heard there was a dry guitar on the right and a wet guitar on the left. Now let's do the same thing for the left guitar. I'm gonna pan that hard right because the track is panned hard left. Now let's hear both of these guitars soloed up. Okay, now let's hear it in the full mix. All right, guys, leave me your thoughts in the comments down below. If you like this kind of content and want to learn even more about Mixbus 32C, be sure to subscribe down below and click the bell. I'm Nathan from Harrison Consoles, and I'll see you in the next video.